Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer, and if you're new here, welcome. Thank you guys for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And on today's video, I'm going to show you how you can take this ordinary glass plate from the Dollar Tree and turn it in to this beautiful piece that you could use in your Christmas decor. So if this is something that interests you, then please keep watching this video. All right, y'all, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take some rubbing alcohol and we're just gonna take a paper towel and we're gonna clean our glass plate. It doesn't take much. Just gonna rub over it. And this is just to make sure that we get all the oils from our hand from where we touch the plate off. Gonna take another one. I'm just gonna wipe it off. To make sure we get all the alcohol off. All right. Now I've just got my plate sitting on a um, bag from Walmart, and this is a glass plate from the dollar store. Now, for this fabric. This is the fabric that I chose, and I think I want this particular cardinal here in the middle to be in the center of my plate. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some Mod Podge, and this one here is the blue. This one's dishwasher safe. So, I still personally don't know that I would put it in the dishwasher, um, just, just to be on the safe side, but you should be able to. I don't know that I would though. I'm just going to take some Mod Podge and just going to get it all over your plate because you really want it to, you want your fabric to stick. And this particular one is gonna be for, for me, just for decorating. I'm just, I'm not planning on using this to serve any meals or any treats or anything like that. I'm gonna use this in my decor. Let's see, I wanna make sure you get this on really good. You want it to stick. And now, this particular one right here, I'm gonna put in the center as best I can. And then I'm just gonna kinda lift up my plate just so I can see. And if I have to, I'll, whoops. Maybe I should've done this first, but it'll still look good. I took the plate back up. Okay. All right, now I'm gonna flip it over. Okay, that's good enough for me. I'm just gonna start smoothing it down. You just, you can start to see the plate, the shape of the plate coming through. And if you can tell that maybe it's not sticking, maybe you don't have enough, you can lift your fabric back up and just lather you on some more Mod Podge. Okay. And it, this right here can kind of get a little messy because the Mod Podge will seep through. Okay. 
But really what you're doing at this point is just working to make sure you don't have any wrinkles in your fabric. Okay. You wanna make sure that you've got it. I kinda see a little bubble here. So I'm gonna peel this back. And I'm gonna put me some more Mod Podge because I really, really, really want this to stick really good. Okay. And you, you just work it down. blow dryer right here. I'm just going to turn it on and I'm going to do a cool shot just to kind of, you know. kind of okay y'all I'm back and what I've started doing is I picked up my plate and I started cutting around um, the edge now it's not <clears throat> excuse me it's not perfect and I will go back and touch that up but what I'm doing is I'm kind of holding my scissors up at an angle and I'm just following along the plate okay Okay, so I've got the excess cut off, and this is what we have so far. Sorry. Okay. Now, I'm going to put it back down, and I went ahead and cut that excess off, because um, it's easier for me to be able to kind of see what I'm working with here. Okay, so now... I don't know if you can tell, but see how it's kind of filled up a little bit right there? I'm just kind of taking my finger. I'm not kind of taking finger. I'm taking my finger and I'm just going down and I'm just rubbing it down all the way around. And that's okay. Like if you see that, you know, you can pull your Mod Podge back out and put a little bit more. I wouldn't do a whole lot right here because you don't have much. But just kind of, you know, put a little bit on there. And just push it down. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do, now that we've got that, we're gonna take this Mod Podge and we're gonna just pour it on. Okay, and I'm just gonna rub it all over this fabric. Okay, now, <clears throat> And as you're going, just remember to try to get out any um, wrinkles that you may have or lumps in there. Just work them out.
And I like to, as I'm doing this, I like to make sure like, don't leave, it's kind of hard for you guys to see. Let me see if I can bring it up here. Do you see like this glob right in here and right in here? See, make sure you don't leave that. Even though the Mod Podge uh -oh, does dry clear, you wanna make sure that you don't leave a lot of it. Like I just try to work it around and get out because if it dries, sometimes it can leave um, those lines. And this one, I honestly, I don't know, but from the research that I've done, um, this one here, they say takes about 28 days to cure. So it may, you know, to fully cure, let me put it that way. Um, the ones I've done, they feel dry to me. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this dry as much as possible and I will come back and show you the next step because it's, it's really wet um, from all that Mod Podge that we've put on here. And so it's gonna be hard for me to um, work with it any while it is still wet like this. So we're gonna let this dry. I will be back and I will show you the next step. Hey y'all, so it's the next day. I had to let this thing dry overnight. Um, I came back later that evening and checked it and it was just not, it was still real tacky. And I was like, I can't work with that right now. So it's literally dried um, for, I don't know, 16 hours or so. And it feels completely dry to me. So what I did was I picked it up and I just trimmed the excess um, that was still hanging over. Um, and I did it with the plate that went up this way around it. And I, I still couldn't quite get it. So I flipped it over like this and I just cut and it looks beautiful to me. I love this. I think it's so pretty. So I'm going to make one of these simple, simple bows with some burlap and some um, buffalo check. And then um, I was hoping I would have some white, just some plain white ribbon, but I don't. So I took what was left of my buffalo check, which was just, you know, it was like this. I folded it in half and cut it, and I thought I could just tie it. And I'll show you, I may end up using this, or I have a little zip tie that I may use. Um, and I was sitting here just a second ago before I went started recording and I was like, do I want my bow here? Do I want my bow here? Do I want my bow kind of to the side? I'm not really sure. So I'm going to show you how to make the bow and then we'll figure out where to put it in the end. And then I will show you um, the other ones that I've done. I will show you what I've got one that I've decorated for like um, if you wanted to put in your decor piece and one if you actually wanted to use it as some type of platter. So now with my bow, I don't have, <clears throat> I don't have that little um, attachment. I'm gonna be getting one. So we're just gonna try to use some hot glue and see how that goes. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your burlap and you're gonna fold it over like this to kind of get your first loop and then fold it over to get, crisscross it to get your second loop. So, It'll kind of look like this, okay? And then you can see once you pinch it together, um, you have the, the sweet little bow, okay? 
so I wished I had um, that little attacher because it would hold um, for the time being, but I don't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of make sure that my loops are about the same because you certainly don't want one loop to be a lot more, a lot bigger than the other one because it'll be too noticeable. Um, Just a hint smaller, not much. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a dab of glue here, just to kind of hold it till I make the other one. See, it's just gonna kind of hold it in place. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Just gonna cross it over. Or flip it. I can't do it working backwards, but just make your loop here. So maybe if I can show you again. So if you take it, just loop it over. I just put my finger there. So you loop it over like that and then take this one and just flip it over. So you see? And then once you pinch it, well, see, once you pinch it, now look, you can tell my tails are completely different sizes, but you can see the makings of a bow. So, again, I'm just gonna kinda make sure that my lips are about the same size. I kinda put some hot glue to hold it. And then, lay it on top of this. Just a little warm. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, all the right way here. See, when you pinch it, Gonna zip tie it. I feel like if I zip tie it, then it'll bring. I'm such a visual person, I have to see something, and then when I see it, I'm like, okay, yes, that does look good. I want to flip this thing. Okay. Now I'm just gonna dovetail. Let me put you guys down here so you can see what I'm doing. Now that I've got the bow made, I'm gonna dovetail the ends. I think when you dovetail the ends, it just kind of gives it a finished look. This one. 
one's actually steel. One piece of ribbon I forgot was longer. And you'll see, and where the zip tie is, I'm just gonna, to cover that up, just gonna go over um, that little piece of, I had that buffalo check that I cut. That looks really cute. Just wait till you see this. And I'm actually gonna use this in my, somewhere in my decor. So I think it's really pretty. Okay. But I'm gonna take this and see how you can see the zip tie right there. I'm just gonna take this, wrap it around. And tie it. Love out your loop. How cute is that? I think that's really cute. And you put a little bow here, or I was thinking here. First, I was like, oh no, I don't want to cover up the cardinal, but I'm not going to cover up the cardinal because. like it at the top so I'm gonna take some hot glue and I'm gonna put it right here on the back of this bow and then we'll just hot glue this bad boy right down I was at the Dollar Tree earlier and I seen um, the little, like, I don't know what you call them. But how cute is that? You know, that um, can hold your, um, like a little stand or something, you know, and it would just cup your plate like that. That was not good. Let me try putting some on the plate too. I think that's what I had to do last time. Cause the other one, I, if I remember correctly, it was hard for me to get that one to stick. a little bit of a drop of hot glue on the plate but it is perfectly fine just peel it off
I love it. I love it. I don't really have much buffalo decor or buffalo check in my decor, but actually I don't have any. Um, but the last couple projects I've made have had it in there um, and I really like it. So I think, you know, just by supplementing a few pieces, I think it'll look good. But is that not super cute? Okay, so now I'm gonna show you. This is the Christmas one that I made right here. Finished it off today. This is the one I made for Halloween. The very first one that I made. I think it's super cute. And so if you just wanna use it in your core somewhere, make a cute little bow and um, slap it on there. And then the one I made for fall, if you wanted to use it as a platter, I just put oatmeal cream pies because I didn't have any cookies. But this is the one I made for fall. This fabric I got, um, all of this fabric I got at Walmart. It was $1.47 a roll. The plates come from uh, the Dollar Tree. See if you had cookies or something, or if you know you made one um, for Christmas and you wanted to put cookies on it for Santa Claus, you know, let the kids do that. How cute is that? I, however, like it just to use as a decor piece. So we have this one, this one, and of course, my favorite. This one. I love it. Sorry about the glare. How cute. How cute, how cute, how cute. Love it, love it, love it. All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for this one. How easy with that. The hardest thing, or not, and it's not really hard, I would say, the longest thing to do in this is allowing everything to dry. And like I said, I put the second coat of the Mod Podge on it last night and I just waited till, you know, it's six o'clock, uh, right at six o'clock in the evening the next day. And so, you know, it's, it's taken that, that long time to get it to dry. Um, so it, worked out perfectly so hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions or comments on you know what i've done if i didn't make myself clear enough or something leave the questions down in the uh, uh leave a question in the comments below and i will answer you guys back and if you like what i'm doing on this channel please subscribe to it i have so many more ideas coming um I have a lot of ideas just, you know, just floating around in my head and I'm looking forward to putting them out on this channel and sharing them with you guys. So please subscribe to this channel, like this video, share it on your social media if you want to, um, you know, in case there's others who, you know, if this is not necessarily your style, but you think someone else would like it, share it so they can see it. Um, and uh, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.